and we're going to Twilight Grove looking to see how this platform... What? what? That's what not Hattori. Doing? How can you okay. be Hattori Master 3000 and not play Hattori? You just tilted me. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so... I just keep calling him Jellyfish. Anyway, Jellyfish... Playing the Asuri, Doppy with the Jala once again. We saw how this platform was a game changer for Doppy and not in a good way. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't hinder him as much as it did last time. There's only one way to tell. Yeah, maybe Jellyfish is like trying to say something like, Hey, Doppy, I know that you're an Asuri main, you play Asuri, but it's doesn't, doesn't not doing that. He's playing Jala. And, ooh. Jellyfish going off stage with those guitars, gets the recovery, Doppy finding some nice axe strings, gets a nice sideline, goes to the end sync, and he actually connects it down to Whoa! Wow! Wow! What ridiculous reads coming out from Doppy absolutely demolishing Jellyfish. He end synced him into the island, that true combo to a down sync. What 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 is showing from Doppy? He finds that downer. Oh Jellyfish going for the rebreed just does not work out as a nice side air comes out from Doppy. Doppy looking for more of those end sinks and the side sink connects. Recovery nearly connects with Jellyfish's face but does not work out. But Doppy not even in kill percent yet. Holding on to the axe. Avoids that pivot side sink from Jellyfish. And he's trying to do something more with this axe as he's going to extend this lead down air. Connects Doppy going for the recovery not using the sword at all this match as the axe is dominating. Yeah, I mean, plays like that, like you just saw from Doppy, are the plays that win games, and it's going to take a hell of a lot for Jellyfish to come back from that. He's already finding himself in kill percent on his second stock, and Doppy's not looking to lose his first one without a fight. Ooh, that downlight comes out. You can see that both of those players were trying to play around that mine, but the recovery comes out. Still doesn't kill Doppy. Doppy proving that Jala has more than three defense cap as he's going in with an air and... Not be holding on to the sword, trying to do a little bit more follows, but that Sarah does not connect. Jellyfish waiting for a weapon. That Sarah not reading that dodge. Doppy throwing out that end sync. He just doesn't care. He's playing such a grounded, heavy Jolly game, and it's working out. That Sarah still not killing Doppy. It's got Jellyfish and kill percent. The side six wow. is flying oh through the center of the, the island. Six the signature reads from Doppy. I've never seen anything like it. He's just taking. Uh, he's just taking full advantage of, of Jellyfish right now. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I'm baffled. Nice side light coming out from Doppy as he throws out a stare. Ooh, he's trying to go for that side sink kill, but he's not going to fight that on Doppy. Doppy was just throwing out axe moves constantly. He finally gets stared, but he got hit by so much, and that's only his first stock that he's losing. Yeah, I mean, Doppy just lost his first stock. However, even though Jellyfish is at a stock disadvantage right now, he's no player to be slept on either. He could come out with a nice throw combo that you never saw coming and bring this game back. Only time will tell. Doppy unable to punish as much as he was before with this axe. I mean, he's finding a couple hits here and there, but not really... Not really devastating uh, Jellyfish like he was at first. Jellyfish tried to go in for the GC side sink to get a confirmed kill and even it up 1-1, to one, but Doppy still finding some damage on the Jellyfish. Jellyfish has managed to slow it down quite a bit, not getting hit by nearly as many six. He gets sidelined into wow. the What? That's what I'm talking about, the throw combo, the side light into throw combo into mine from Jellyfish. Taking Doppy's second stock, evening up the game. It's like it never happened. The weapon stopped Doppy right above the mine so that he could get killed off the top. Evened up one to one. Jellyfish gets hit by a D-Light Sarah, but I can totally see this being a thing. He can come back all the down here, does it. But wow, Jellyfish showing that he wasn't a slouch. That explosive opening becoming oh, an even match. Yeah, I mean, that beginning, extremely one-sided. Doppy absolutely devastating Jellyfish uh, with just ridiculous plays. However, Jellyfish managing to, to come back, in my opinion, in, in just an equally as devastating manner. Unfortunately, that dare did confirm the kill. And here we go, Jellyfish not playing around, goes to his main, what I consider to be his main, Queen Nye, coming out here against Doppy's Jalas, is showing that he can do quite a bit with the Sigs, a axe and the sword, Doppy being taken to shipwreck here on game two. I mean, I like the fact that we're seeing a legend switch from Jellyfish here. We are seeing him pull out his main. He is playing Queen Nye. He's going to be a lot more comfortable this game, especially with this map. I mean, we don't have that platform to knock people off of anymore. People are going to die probably a lot sooner. Or at least they won't have their deaths interrupted. Like, although right. we did see that Doppy took advantage of that platform with that end sync down sync kill very early on. He actually dodges into a down sync jellyfish, reacting to Doppy's approach and actually punishing him here, taking the lead with the guitarist. So he tosses forward, tries to go for a side sync. A D light cider will send him off the map, and a GC side sync from Doppy does not connect. And that chase dodge, Sarah, will take the first stock. Jellyfish being dominant in game two.
Yeah, I mean, I think this legend switch was crucial for Jellyfish. I mean, not only the fact that Queen Nye has a ton of defense, which is really good against a legend like Jala with no defense, but this map pick, I mean, it, it it's difficult to get a kill off the top or off the sides. You really have to send them downwards to confirm it, and that's going to be tough for Doppy, especially when he's at a disadvantage like this. Ooh, what an excellent chase shot down. Six. Toss the bomb upwards. Doppy gets recovered into wow. the bomb! My Whoa. god! How, how does he do this? I told Jellyfish you. Jellyfish with the consistent throw combos. I, I, I can't believe it. So now Doppy gave him a thumbs up and appreciation for that one. Not I salty, mean, but impressed. Too. I would be impressed. I can't believe he's doing this as consistently as he is. And it's, oh my god, he's looking to take a three stock on Doppy right now. Doppy but gets the ground pound. pound does stop that from happening. However, Jellyfish still at a major lead right now, especially with this defense. I mean, wow. Doppy ooh, avoids the way out of that ground pound. Gets a nice side light deal light, but nothing more than that. Jellyfish going off for that chase dodge there. Puts out the spear. Down here coming out. Jellyfish goes over the end second and end light stops and Doppy goes for the chase dodge down second. Does not work out, Doppy. Trying to get under that spear. Gets a nice downer and doesn't get punished by the weapon toss, but he's in the red. Last stock. Jellyfish is tossing spears left and right and hits him with that ground pound. Doppy holding on the mine. Jellyfish looks to play around that. Honestly, I wouldn't see. I would not doubt Jellyfish to use that mine that he just threw down to his advantage, but the cider he really hits him into it. He gives him a Thumbs up saying, nice try. And Doppy looks to even up the stocks, but I doubt that as the Sarah connects and Doppy's so close to kill percent. Yeah, I mean, I think Doppy had a chance at first, but now Jellyfish has racked up enough damage that he could even lose this stock and still basically have a confirmed game here. I mean, anything's going to kill at this point, especially after that neutral light. Nice recovery coming out from Doppy and a down air. The sizing though, avoid the weapon toss, surprisingly, and also read a jump. Down air comes out. Doppy gets the recovery kill at the top. Doppy has an opportunity to take this 2 0. But it's he gonna be so does. hard. Anywho, like Jellyfish is like, alright, how am I gonna end this? He's like scheming, I can see it right now. He's just throwing out stairs right now, but we can tell it's gonna be something fancy. Never mind. I mean, Doppy is gonna have to play flawlessly here. He's not gonna be able to take a single hit, and I mean look. There it is from Jellyfish, the nice side signature read. That'll take the game once again. Wow. Just a, a devastating showing from Jellyfish. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, Jellyfish was able to bring out those flashy throw combos and make them work. As I mean, like, I've, I've seen things like that happen here and there, like, maybe, like, once a month. But, like, to see it happen over and over again in a single game, or a single set, rather, that's ridiculous. I can't believe I just... I even saw that, to be honest with you. We're going into map bands once again, looking at Mammoth Fortress, going to Mammoth Fortress. Doppy pulling out a Katara Legend this time. I mean, he's got the Lucian. This is going to give him that, that extra defense, that extra mobility, and the weapon set in order to get some offstage Three, games. Two. One, so now we're on Mammoth, a slightly larger map, platform for an opportunity or for fancier things. And wait, Doppy's on Lucian here. Down here comes out. This is the gun legend that I was talking about. Doppy practicing guns a little bit and wants to bring it out against Queen Nye. I think guns are a popular counter pick against Queen Nye, legends in general. And whoever comes out, Doppy. When you got that downer, stops her from picking up the bomb. Gets a nice Sarah. And it comes out to read the landing. Downer. Down like Sarah. Goes for the chase dodge. Down sick pivoted it as well, Doppy. Putting on a crazy amount of damage onto Jellyfish here. These guns are tearing him apart. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, guns are an excellent counterpick choice to Katars. Not to mention, now Dobby has a set of Katars of his own, and we know how comfortable he is with those. He was in a Surrey main. So I'm looking to see a, a much different game this time. I feel like this legend pick is going to go in Dobby's favor. Throws on that side here. Jellyfish tosses up the spear. Gets hit by a Sarah, however. He's being put closer, closer to the kill person. Down, it comes out from Dobby. Does not connect the side stick. What? Queen Knight goes through Dobby. Is that... I what? Yes, yes, the hitboxes. I, I guess because I guess because Lucian like jumps up with the side thing, he just goes Correct. through him. Okay. Doppy getting hit with that ground pound. I was not expecting that and whoo, the spear toss not going off the stage. Only in the orange here in the stock lead. Yeah, I mean it's it's showing to work for Doppy. This Lucian pick is really working out. These guns are able to space out these guitar approaches and get a ton of punishes. I mean, Jellyfish is finding a hard time finding an opening here. Jellyfish finding that recovery, but Doppy's still not at kill percent. The mine goes high. Jellyfish tries to set up with that mine recovery, but no. Jellyfish tossing that spear downwards. It goes flying. You can see that the map camera still recognizes that it's a falling hitbox in that mine. Nearly going down. Jellyfish trying so many fancy things. Misses the spear toss on the explosive. Doppy trying to find these nares. Slowing down quite a bit as Jellyfish has been slowing down his ground game by putting these mines all over the place. And he's looking to even this up. Two to two here as Doppy is not finding all the gun attacks that he was finding on the first stock. 
Yeah, I mean, Jellyfish is starting to play a lot smarter here. You can see he's starting to utilize those throw combos and that unarmed once again, and it's working for him. What was initially a huge lead for Doppy has now became a, a, a very small one. I mean, Doppy's in kill percent, and that side air is going to kill. Now the stocks are even. But, I mean, Jellyfish with, with the defense advantage here, if he can find some nice strings, he should be able to secure this. Doppy playing around on the stage. Spears are being tossed aside as Jellyfish continues to deny weapons from him. Doppy doesn't really have that much of a lead as that D-Light Sarah hits his wing eye. High defense doesn't get hit. Oh, and the neutral light stops that side sig. The hitbox not being dodged out as he gets it really early on. And waiting for an opportunity to get in. Picks up the guitars, gets the Sarah, tries to land with an air. Doppy fighting him with his own guitars. Dodges through the side sig cleverly and takes him off stage with his guitar string. Doesn't do any more and Jellyfish tries to go for a weapon toss ground pound. Does not connect. Doppy holding on to the guns. Now gets a Sarah. Has the advantage. Recovery connects. Sends him into the orange. Goes for the GCM sig. Doesn't connect in a pivot, but the ground pound does. Jellyfish being brought to kill percent, and the end sig kills him off the top. Wow. Yeah, those, that was some excellent gunplay, some excellent reads coming out from Doppy. Um, just absolutely destroying Jellyfish in every approach. Uh, Jellyfish, he's got the guitars in hand, but he keeps throwing them. He's looking to use the spear so he can combo up some weapon throws into some more damage. That's working for him. I mean, Doppy's getting brought into kill percent at this point. He's very close, at least. That Ooh. ground pound's not going to hit. It's going to put Doppy low. Will Jellyfish be able to take advantage of that? He goes for the slide charge down stick. And he's dead. In position to get ground pounded. The dare comes no. down. He manages to recover. Doppy now in a terrible position with weaponless on the side of the map against guitars. Both players now have guitars. We're looking to see somebody go down here. I thought Jellyfish was dead, but he held on to his recovery that entire time, and he's making back to the stage. He's looking like he's going to take the stock. Siders are coming out. Doppy trying to make it back to the stage. Avoids the down sig. Jellyfish could have gone for an end sig there, and Doppy getting sared in kill percent here. He's put on a lot of damage on the Jellyfish, however, and Jellyfish on his last stock, but it does not mean that he has lost the match yet. Ground Pound comes down, and the sides to catch him with the weapon toss. It really halts the knockback, I think. Ground Pound doesn't matter. Just excellent edge guarding from Doppy. He manages to take game three.